All right. Let's see if it works. All right. Is this recording? Let's see. I don't know. Let's go to Asia. So the Chinese server doesn't exist. Because... Um... Alright. Oh, perfect! Oh, what the hell? Uh... Whoa. Alright. Let's go to here again. I'm showing up. Let's go ahead and uh, start taking the stream. Start taking the stream. Let's quality 480. But yeah, all right. So it's excellent connection. Now, how do I like my stream? I have zero idea. Alright, everything looks golden here, so let's hop right into it, guys. Alright. Navigating on the fly, folks. It is so many levels of fun. Alright, let's check it out. Who have we got competing today? Alright. Should be showing up now. Let's pull up the bracket, folks. It's on Shalong. We're gonna see what's going on. We're gonna see. Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, folks. We got ourselves a pretty stacked deck today. All right. Already we have um, future advancing to the round of eight. I want to catch uh, Firefly versus Dark. So regardless of what happens between Porphyrian and Curry, I don't think they're going to make it past the final boss. <laughs> uh, KRDRG, it's going to be Scarlet versus Triple. I how that's faring so far. Alright. So it looks like I'm not the only one waiting for a game right now. But... Alright, so it looks like we're going to be uh, looking at that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start dropping them. <laughs> oh, Peg, you bloody... Uh. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to link. Wait a minute. Uh, we don't select. We hit return. Paste the link. And now, I become something. Alright. Going to go into the best of the best. Hmm. All right, Twitch streams probably. Uh, well. <laughs> Oopsie Daisy ad. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Accidentally an admin for CTL. You can just feel the betrayal amongst the Meebas. Alright, so uh, after I finish up this, we're going to see if there's a open... Um, a open... Uh, 
call them fancy little things. Um, uh, lobby. Yeah, those fan those beautiful little gorgeous things on uh, StarCraft 2. And I'm hoping that this stream keeps solid throughout the whole thing. So, how are y'all doing today on this fine, beautiful, and gorgeous uh, midnight? I have no idea. Looks like uh, another another game just finished up. We might be able to catch a game. Uh, uh, I might be able to catch a game here pretty shortly. Here, uh, yeah. Oh my God. Oh, uh, Scarlet's on a freaking roll. Two two oh eight triple two one eight dr. Ah. Uh, is EVZ and two winning DRG. I mean, holy smokes. All right, so uh, we'll see how this shakes out. I want to catch Firefly versus Dark, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be playing pretty uh, anytime soon here. So I'm going to try to catch Classic versus Nightmare unless they already finished up. Yeah, it looks like. All right, Ragnarok 2-0 Buckstar. Looks like it's going to be... Oh. Oh. Well, guys, we have ourselves a jackpot because we're going to start casting Scarlet vs. Dark. And that is the best thing ever. I've played Dark once. And, you know, if you've watched the uh, Winter Starcraft 2 channel, it didn't exactly go very well. Ganon rush into him not losing a single unit as he proceeded to soundly and quite confidently whoop my ass. So, what have we got? Oh, uh, do I want to grab that? Let's grab it. Yeah, sure, why not? Change of plans, folks. We're going Nightmare versus Classic. Oh, well, that happened. Okay, it's going to be a PvP, folks. And as we go into game one, we're, or game something, probably game two, maybe game three, we're going to be looking at Classic versus Nightmare. Now, I don't really know much about these two players. I've casted Nightmare before. I'm going to be posting those, uh, going to be posting those relatively shortly here, but I've also casted Classic before. Um, and they're two really strong players. And as we hop into this, down in the bottom, um, yeah, bottom right, that's what that is. It is going to be Nightmare, Red Protoss Probes. In the top left of the latter edition of Gresman, I didn't really notice that until just now, it is going to be Classic. Right now, I believe Classic isn't on a team. I don't really recall, but I don't, I'm, I thought Nightmare was on a team, but it doesn't really show on his profile. Fortunately, I'll also not be able to look at the chat while I'm doing this, so if you guys have questions, I will probably be looking at them after the fact. It's going to be a gate scout from both players, and it's going to be a Wild Wild West meeting in the middle by these two probes. Uh, looks like it's going to be Gateway Gas. It's going to be double gas first out of Nightmare. Oh, it's going to be double gas out of both players. Okay. Well, I like these interesting skins off of Nightmare. And so far, a pretty standard Protoss versus Protoss opener in this uh, best of three. I'm not sure who won the first one, though. He did pull off of Minerals to... Uh, Get that tech faster. So. Looks like nothing really interesting going on. The, uh, the uh, similar times to the cyber core is going to mark that these two players are going to have a relatively even game to start with. Pylon right here. Pylon right here. My god, they're mirrors. Some mineral line harass going to be coming out of Nightmare, whereas Classic doesn't seem to be doing the same thing. Just about the only thing differentiating the two of them right now. 
as we see these two fin start these two cybercore finishing up we're gonna see again mirrored actions as these two players are gonna go, go be going for aggressive link stalkers now I think this battle is gonna come down to who can micro stalkers the best and I mean I'm gonna be honest I think that kind of favors classic uh, I mean I no, it's gonna be dropping a battery up here. Interesting choice of nightmare. And these two stalkers gotta chase away this probe. It doesn't look like they're gonna be able to catch it. And a double sentry coming out of. Oh, that battery was to trap the probe that walked in here. All right, so it's gonna be double stalker, double sentry out of nightmare. Is he going to drop a battery as well? Uh, maybe not. Gonna probably turn down the sound so it doesn't interfere too much. And as we sh uh, shot put right into the whoa, okay, yeah, 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 that's four stalkers, guys. Yeah, all right, so we see a proper response coming out of nightmare. It's gonna be a battery, so. It's It is gonna free up, uh, free it up. He's just gonna have four stalkers for a good scouting. This, uh, this Phoenix is gonna see these four stalkers coming across, and they're gonna try to stop that Phoenix from scouting. And they're gonna do a pretty decent job for it to waste some time walking around. These nice force, force fields gonna catch up one of these stalkers, and another stalker, a classic, goes down as Blink starts first for our for our Protoss player in blue. And it's gonna be a Robo versus a Twilight. And as Nightmare pulls ahead in the Stalker count, it's going to be a proxy out of Classic up here in the upper uh, central right. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, central right. This Phoenix is going to scout the blink out of Classic. It's going to be four gate. Or right now we're sitting at one, two, three gates at, at the time being. Yep, it, it is going to be a proxy, uh, proxy fourth gate over here, just outside of uh, the four base for Nightmare. These adepts are gonna immediately scout it and are probably gonna put, put on some damage on it. Um, and these stalkers gonna be coming in to protect that. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like that uh, once I get scouted, uh, I mean, it's become, it becomes a pretty hard commitment out of Nightmare. So I'm not sure, or uh, out of Classic. So I'm not sure if you should cancel or just go with it. Already the supplies seeming to favor Nightmare as he runs into a supply block, I think. Yep, that's a supply block as he starts up another pylon in the main. It is going to last a while as this, uh, as this observer comes out. He's going to be able to have a little bit of forenotice of the stalkers. Phoenix coming out, seven stalkers coming in, but I don't think that's going to be a good fight for Classic. The stalkers coming in, but with a finished blink, they're going to try to catch the stalker as it's morphing in, but they're not going to be able to quite catch it. It's going to be on low health. And the stalker's going to reposition over here. And they're going to try to blink into the main here, but they're going to derp around over here, realizing there isn't really much he can get in there. He's going to get into the main. He's going to be able to depower these gateways. Out, and how uh, is it just going to be a tiny bit slow out of Nightmare as he has to start, uh, he's going to have to start stuff his way into his own main. These stalkers are going to be caught over here. These are going to be able to blink, but they're not going to be able to blink out. And these stalkers are dead. These stalkers are going to die as... Uh, they, oh, yeah, no! Two, two of them get out. One on full health, one on lower health. And this is going to relatively even out, I think. It's going to be another... Uh, it's going to be a Twilight Council for Nightmare as well. These stalkers warping in over here at the proxy gateway. They're going to try to push over here. Probably going to try to reposition over here, but it seems like Nightmare's got that possibility covered with this Observer over here. It is going to be another fight in the middle here, but I feel like Nightmare has to pull back, and he is going to pull back here, and it is going to be, he's going to reposition, he's going to catch his third, and that is going to be pretty huge here, as it looks like Classic is going to be able to take his own third, forcing Nightmare to engage out here, he's going to catch the Stalker, he's going to catch this Immortal, he's going to catch, his, and he's going to catch everything, and Nightmare wildly outnumbered by Clat, or not as badly outnumbered as I thought. But still, it is going to be a bad fight, and forcing him to have to engage over there, over by his third away from the shield batteries, is going to work in the favor of Classic in this game. And Nightmare, 
currently on the ropes right now as more stalkers are warping in more uh, blink for him is only about halfway done it's gonna try to bait these stalkers away it's gonna force some to blink back and the stalkers just look really intent on trying to catch this now this is gonna be pretty rough for nightmares this uh, as this forge is on this proxy gateway though is I feel like it's a hard commitment out of classic He's going to have to deal a lot of, so much damage to Nightmare that Nightmare can't recover. And it looks like he is going to be able to one-shot all these Stalkers. He's going to lose some Stalkers of his own, but he's going to maintain that lead. More Stalkers warping in at that proxy gateway. Another round, but it's going to be Blink finishing up for Nightmare, and he's going to have a pretty decent uh, uh, retreat position over here by his third. This uh, stalker advantage for class is going to be really weighing in on this conflict, and he is going to catch this, catch the sentry up, but not before he catches the stalker on its way out. Oh my God, this is going to be really rough. Okay, um, uh, a little bit of lag coming out of here. It might be my internet. I hope not. I really hate to be uh, doing damage to these guys' play. Um. Gonna be trying to engage here. It's gonna lose a stalker for it. Nightmare over here snapping up stalkers. It's going to have a well, observer over here seeing that Classic is indeed on three bases. Charges coming up for Classic. And I feel like. Oh. He does have a robotics facility so if he's able to and he does have a ro uh, does have an observer out so this so where's that thing this right here yes dark dark shrine it's gonna be able to catch some uh it's gonna be able to catch it a little bit i feel like the first step of a lot of pvps is a mechanics game who has the better mechanics who has the better response time who can just generally out micro the other That usually comes after the, uh, usually comes after the macro form. And the, again, these stalkers are going to come out. They're going to catch this uh, mortal off guard, and, the, and these, uh, oh, he's going to probably, is he going to try to force field the ramp? It looks like he is going to force field the ramp. He's going to try to get some damage, right? He's going to take out this dark truck, and he's going to force a pretty hard commit out of Nightmare uh, as he depowers these gateways. That is going to be a lot of damage over here. As these stalkers blink over here to take care of these stalkers, it's going to be a numbers war, and Classic has got the bigger numbers. But Nightmare was just in range of that shield battery, so it's going to be... Whoa, wait a minute. On the other side of the map, it is going to be nine stalkers lost by Classic. These two zealots are going to be coming in here. Six, uh, four more to join them, and they're not going to be able to see it for the time being This as the, until this observer comes over here and does get that, in fact, cleaned up. Nightmare is going to try to get this warp prism over here, but it, it's going to get caught by these, and it gets killed as Nightmare starts to get uh, starts to move across the map. He has to get more damage done, I feel like, but then again, I don't know. So aggressive, uh, he's going to be aggressive across the map. This this charge is going to really put him on his toes, and this gateway really putting in its weight at the front. And it's going to be a gathering point over here for Classic. And as this third starts finishing up, it is going to be four more Stalkers over here. The forward pylon. I'm, I wonder if he's. I wonder if he's looking to take a fourth behind this. A lot of damage being done to that shield battery. It is going to force Nightmare to be a little more. Um, I don't know. This, uh, it's going to be a, a rotation over here. Going to try to hit the natural. It's going to be uh, might be able to be broadsided by this, but the concave looks like it's going to be fa oh, and the mortal gets snatched up as this army goes into the, the natural. Going to try to get some damage done here. These uh, zealots going to delay these stalkers for the time being, while these uh, stalkers get their damage done. More zealots being poured, uh, pull, pulled in over here. More zealots being uh, it is going to be adepts warped in for nightmare. It's going to be able to deal with these uh, zealots very well. 
And the numbers war is starting to favor Nightmare over here as he starts to blink in. Is it is starting to turn really bad in this engagement for Classic as he is cornered over here and. Uh, that's oh as that gets snapped up it is going to be more carnage and more carnage and what have we got behind this at a 20 20 workers going down for nightmare but that's an army you don't want to be facing it's going to be better to be thrown down at the net at the third for classic but i don't th i think nightmare smells blood in the water and he's going to be moving across the map he's going to be moving with what he has he's going to catch these two observers uh, I don't think Classic is going to be able to get enough out in time to defend us. I think this is Nightmare's game. As these zealots are start, as these stalkers are starting to pour in, the numbers are definitely favoring Nightmare here. As he starts picks off one, picks off the zealot, uh, battery uh, super battery is going to be over, uh, going to be available for Classic. But these adepts are pouring into the natural, so it's going to be a lot of lost, a lot of a uh, few lost probes for uh, for Classic here. Another immortal coming out is gonna, it's gonna, and it's gonna wrap up that super battery. And the second one gets uh, piped down, and that is Nightmare taking this game. Now again, I've stated that I don't know whether this is game one, game two, game three, but it is, does did not look pretty for Classic. I mean, it started off really gorgeously for Classic there. He got some really nice concaves. He got some really nice engage. Got some really nice damage up in that main. Got a um, got a pylon that was powering those two gateways. But the macro coming out of nightmare was just way too strong for classic style. That was a really good game. That was a fun game. So it is going to be... It's going to be a lot of people chilling in chat. Um, got Nightmare. Got Classic. I wonder if that was the final game of the group. Uh, maybe. I don't think so. I mean, both of them are still in chat, so... I think we got one more game here. Uh, looks like... Good old, uh, looks like good old Dave's gonna need to take a break. So we're gonna try to hold that, uh, lobby for him. I mean, uh, Scarlet and Dark probably are going up against each other in the game. That's a match I really want to see. But, uh, uh I guess. I guess sometimes you get, uh, Sometimes you get a PvP, sometimes you get a ZVZ. In this case, we're getting some pretty entertaining games. Some uh, cheese coming out of Classic, and some good old Macro coming out of Nightmare. And I feel like whenever you make su a commitment like that, you have to be certain that you are going to deal enough damage to keep them on the back foot while you pull ahead. I mean, it's 250 minerals commitment over on your opponent's side of the map that they can easily snipe if it goes sideways. Better miss micro here, a bad, a bad micro there, and it turns into the favor of the player who has all of the stuff back at home. But, uh, yeah, four gate blink really showing off how powerful it is in that matchup. <laughs> Whenever I've, you know, whenever I've gotten Protoss versus Protoss in the ESL Open Cups when I used to participate in those, um, it was always 4K Blink. But, uh, except for, uh, except for a few of them. It is going to be Classic leaving, so I guess that was the final game. 
Nightmare taking that series. And that was very convincing. Wait, was there a forge even threw down in there? I, I don't recall. No, 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 there really was no forge there. There's all no upgrades. There's just blank and charge go, just smashing up against each other. It became a numbers war. It became pure war. As they bashed their armies against one another. Control. Yeah. Definitely should never do that voice again. All right. Wait for another game. <laughs> the previous stream, when I, last time I waited for another game, that was um, that's a very interesting two-hour wait. <laughs> Pretty much the slowest stream that I've known to mankind was soon. No one was there, so I was glad I wasn't wasting anybody's time with two hours and attempted and really awkward storytelling coming out of there. Yeah, as we wait and just uh, chill out over here. Scarlet on fire in this particular tournament. I think we're going to see a Scarlet in the finals. Hmm. Let's check, take a look at the bracket and see what's going on. And it looks like... Yeah, it looks like uh, that was game three. That was night. That was game three of Nightmare vs. Classic and Nightmare Advances. And is going to meet who, the winner between Ragnarok and Future. Now, uh... I mean, that's going to be a tough one to guess. Ragnarok and Future. I, you know, I'm casting Future versus Sue. I mean, I finished up the cast for that. I just have to finish up editing the video and post it to YouTube. And those were some pretty close games. The future really demonstrating the power of battle mech against Zerg. Um, hmm. Dragon Kaizi Games Dark versus Firefly. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna try to... I don't know, I think I'll take a look at that one, see what, uh, see what happened there. I want, I want to cast that. Looks like, uh, Ragnarok versus Future of Terran is not yet wrapped up. But as we get into the round three... And... We've already got a semi-finals game going. Between Scarlet and Dark. Wow. My good friend Han Mano. Tattooed by Firefly. Man, that guy's crazy. Uh, I've cast. Oh, 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 guys, we're getting to cast Dark versus Scarlet here. It is going to be freaking awesome as we hop into the semifinals of this. And apparently, Dark is up one uh, versus Scarlet, who is going to be. Oh. Probably got too many casters. Maybe. Oh yeah, that uh, was it. Oh. I mean, Harding was good with his Blink Stalker micro. Yeah, that was that was Parting level. Thinking back on it, that was definitely Parting level. I mean, I look up to Parting. <laughs> Uh, he is my hero of Toss. Pun fully intended. Let us go into this. Game two. It's best of three between Dark and Scarlet. Now, last time these two, these two went and clashed heads in a best of three, That was, it was Dark taking very strong advantage in both games that happened. It, it was a very convincing 2-0 in favor of Dark. I think we're going to see something a little different here. Scarlet and Dark have clashed heads before, and... 
as we hop into this game two on Royal Blood. It is going to be up here in the top right, representing Dragon Kaizi Gaming. It is dark. The classic drones, but the regular... Uh, is that... No, that's not regular. That's simulant. What am I going on, what am I going on about? And in the bottom left, representing Shopify Rebellion, it is Scarlet. Looks like it's going to be a macro opening out of both players. Man, I was hoping we get to see some uh, 12 pools in this game, but, you know. Again, we're going to see a uh, duel at dawn between these two overlords as they meet in the middle of the map. It's going to be a natural for Scar. It's going to be a natural for both players. Mirror matchups with mirrors. This is starting to freak me out a little bit. All right. So this is going to be the regular skin for Scarlet. I wonder, do, do the uh, skin, does the buying skins really transfer between the um, between the servers, or do you have to buy the skin individually for each server? Uh. I, just, I think it transfers between servers. Where do we see the simulant drone swimming around? Notice that it's only its skeleton in that picture. But it is going to be a hatch gas pull out of both players. As they are both. It looks like a... If I had a bet to make, we're probably going to see a few Ling Wars, but that's that may be over pretty quickly here. And we see this drone swimming around. Okay, what happened to my dear little drone? Give me back my drone. I love my drone. It's gonna be Queen starting up out of both hatcheries. Ling speed starting up a little earlier for Scarlet. Uh, it's, gonna, it's not really gonna amount to much though, I feel. About like five, six seconds in the rush distance on this map. I think it's like 34 seconds. I mean, it's like, yeah, just a quick estimation. It's about 34 seconds. The third going down for Scarlet at the triangle, and we're going to see a line third coming out for Dark. It's two overlords going to meet up, have a meet and greet. Probably going to gossip over what they saw in the supernatural base. My god, I saw Brenda. She was so. Dressed shabbily. Anyway, I'm off to buy the groceries. It is going to be a Ling War over here for or Scarlet. These two Ling's going to be able to slide on in, go to see this Bane Ling nest coming down, and they're going to, uh, they're going to go right off back to their side of the map. As these, this one's El this one, Brave Zergling. We shall name him Jerry, and he is going to get in. He's going to take some damage from this queen, but it. Is she gonna see? Oh, what? No, no, we're not. Okay, yes. I feel like people really should be aware of that looking at the, through the lens of a um, of a pro player is like, you know, it's almost dizzying how fast they process the information. So things are gonna chase them all the way across the other side of the map, but these things are just gonna barely miss uh, miss them from the sand, which these three like five lings peeling off to chase this one zergling. As it gets a, as it goes to get a scout off up into the main base, it's gonna put some damage down on this drone. Not really gonna be able to kill it quite yet. It is gonna be uh, avoid. It's gonna be a game of avoid the bane ling. Uh, these two lings gonna bravely sacrifice himself, but it's gonna be an earlier roach warren out of dark. Gonna catch him by surprise. Gonna, gonna catch. Scarlet by surprise here. Gonna really mess with Scarlet a bit uh, with that Ling time, making her think there was gonna be Ling Wars. Uh, now I forget my, now I forget my prediction. Did I think they were gonna be over pretty quickly? I did not think they would be over this quickly. So already two queens going down for Scarlet. I think this is just about the roughest position you could be in as the spine finishes up. It's gonna be able to hold a natural. These Ling's starting up, uh, and these roaches are going to try to focus down this banley, but they aren't going to be able to quite get it. 
as these links get us around these are uh, just the army of dark is swarming in here and I think this is gonna be a dead scarlet here yeah that was that was brutal oh come on dark you didn't have to do it like that my god That was, that was rough. Looks like uh, Scarlet is gonna be, oh, whoops. Nope, not the button I wanted to press. All right. It's gonna be Dark 2 owing uh, Dark 2 owing Scarlet in pretty brutal fashion. Gonna tricking her to think it was gonna be Ling Wars and then goes into roaches. Now going back to that party level blink stalker my crowd of nightmare. That was amazing. That was freaking amazing. So just play just playing it back in my mind, it just looks like uh, you know for a moment it looked like those stalkers were just untouchable. You know, it's, uh, if you see a stalker of nightmare, watch out, because that uh, it's probably gonna just waltz right between all your forces. All your forces gonna be like, stand back. That's why it herb. And dark tuoing firefly, Ragnarok, and uh. Future looks like they're still in the process of finishing up that game. TVZ tends to be a pretty long matchup. However, wins is going to be meeting F Nightmare in the uh, in the semifinals. Yeah, this is pretty much the fastest semifinals I've ever seen. Yeah. In game. Uh, well, I mean. Could be one-sided right now. You know. Ragnarok or Future, but just fighting off the last of um, of one or one or the other's forces. But uh, man, watching Blinkstalker Micro is oddly fascinating. You just see that. Uh, Gonna be. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. Wow. It is way too early. Oh, uh, way too early in the morning. Way too late. In the morning. Uh. Uh. Whatever. What? Whatever time it is. Way too early in the Friday. Sounds good. So here we sit, all broken hearted. Because there is not a game to cast. Hmm. Did I ever go up against Future? I feel like... I, I want to say it was on a map like uh, Moon Dance, but I might be confusing him for uh, when I went up against Creature in the ESL Open Cups. That was pretty brutal at ZBC. Start going for a little mind game, making her think it was going to be a Ling War, but then he just. I, mean, I feel like he cut a little bit of army to get that uh, roach. the surprise roaches out. Hmm. 
uh, if you're ever looking for a uh, quick build for ZBZs, unless you're on NA, then just, uh, you know, be, a, be wary of 12 pool. I feel like Vladif really underestimates his own skill in casting. I'm convinced that if I hop onto his YouTube channel. No, what the heck? Let's. Uh, where's his content? I feel like asking what's your YouTube just feels like. Bum walks up to uh, Rich Man on the Street. I have no idea. I uh, not quite that. So, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. keyframes are not being sent often enough. 8.3 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Aye, aye. That's, not, that's not worth it all, now is it? Alright. Now there's this thing on... Hmm. I haven't seen any of Lado's, uh but I'm I'm convinced that he claims he doesn't have it and every time someone's come uh, yeah, everyone every time someone's convinced they don't have something they have it like you know um, uh, like someone says I'm not humble at all I'm, I'm quite proud, you know, as you look at them and there's just... And you watch it. Yeah, you know, some, sometimes they'll be proud. Sometimes they'll be quite uh, um, uh, humble. But I feel like this is one of those occasions where Vladov isn't really convinced of his own skill. I feel like he's better than he thinks he is. If I had a bet for if I had a bet for every time I had a nickel, I'd have two nick two bets, which is really weird considering that happened twice. I think I definitely butchered that, but I'll go with it. Ow. Okay, so it looks like Ragnarok really. Um, Pulled through in that one and won two to one. GG will play it as is, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, chicken man. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> oh my god, I've seen that clip. And seeing it only makes it funny. <laughs> oh my god, alright. Um, I want to join the party. Oh, nice. All right. We're going to be seeing Nightmare versus Ragnarok. I am so freaking stoked for this. I'm hoping my internet holds for it. I have no idea, but, uh, So, looks like uh, Ragnarok uh, vetoed Bresven, Nightmare vetoed Altitude, Sag. We won't get to see an Altitude game today, or in this series, but whatever. So it's Ragnarok's Nightmare, Ragnarok versus Nightmare, it is my dude.
And it looks like Ragnarok is going to veto Babylon. It is a best of three, so Nightmare gets another veto. And I'm going to go ahead and guess that... Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't... I'm learning Korean, but I don't... Neo-humanity? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes, that makes sense. Neo-humanity is really weird to play on. I mean, especially with that little thing on the, uh... With the little gold minerals separating the natural and the line third. That's going to be pretty rough. Oh, oh, uh... So we're going to receive 41 milliseconds. Or faster than light. I mean, how long would it take light to travel between eastern United States and the server in South Korea? Looks like, uh, Vladev, Vlad 4? Vladev? I don't know. Is going to be joining the lobby, but I think he, I think he's just the coolest thing sli since sliced bread. Yay! Awesome, bro! Joins the party. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people in the party. Honestly, though, I love uh, how into the Inu is so uh, so well organized in this. He's it just feels like he's so able to um, really get the whole thing s uh, started out smoothly. It's truly a blessing to have him with us in the KSL. And a blessing this game is as well as we go into game two, or game one of Nightmare versus Ragnarok. And up here representing, I don't know what that says. Uh, but with the uh, simulant drones, it is going to be Ragnarok. Going for a, a guess? I can't... What? Uh, I'm going for an extractor trick, but it, down here in the bottom right, it is going to be Nightmare. I don't know if he's representing a team. He might be representing a team and it might not just be on this account. I have no idea. It's going to be a, a standard opener out of... I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Overlord... That is... The probe is going to scout it. Huh. Going to try to go in for some mineral line harass. And... I mean, there's a lot of people in this uh, in this current game, so we might be seeing a result of that. When there's the guy who can des be the best deal with lag, I don't know. Already nightmare in the semifinals. He's already guaranteed about fifty bucks here, so. It is going to scout that it is a mostly saturated gas. And... Pretty fast nap... Or pretty fast finishing natural. When does the third normally start off with both players? Curious. A couple of links coming out. Going to push away this probe. And it looks like it is going to be a Stargate out of Ragnarok. Uh... Nightmare. The only Protoss player in this matchup. <laughs> is Zergling going to chase this probe down? I don't think that's going to kill it. Two things going to meet up. What are we going to see here? It's going to be a double adept out of Nightmare. Two more links starting up. A few more queens also starting up. Uh, 
as much as I love these map pools, or as much as I like these maps, uh, you know, I feel like the color scheme on them is just really uniform. It just feels like I'm looking at the same color over and over again, so it's very difficult to dis visually distinguish. I mean, altitude isn't, you know, quite that much, but this map, is, I like this map. Neon Fire did a fantastic job with this map. Um... like after scouting that it is in fact going to be a Stargate opener it's going to start up an oracle in both mineral lines and this oracle is going to get pushed back second oracle pops out to join the first I think we're going to be seeing a hero style out of nightmare uh, three oracle style Already an adept in the wall. Are these oracles going to be coming around? No full damage yet on either one. That may soon change as these queens are going to look to do some damage here. Going to try to stop them. Uh, best that Nightmare is going to be able to do is going to get a uh, get a revelation out on here and going to see that this spawning pool is going for link speed. Dead? No, he does not. So, I think he's thinking that it's going to be a Nidus. So, Link's going to poke in and get pushed away for the time being. Oracle going to come across the map. Going to be able to... Uh, going to get some, some damage put on it by these two queens. Now the revelation going down, going to catch these two queens in this hatchery. But it isn't going to know. He isn't going to know that it's going to. It's going to hit him pretty hard when these hydralisks come out. And I feel like it's going from dealing damage. Oh my god! I hope this like isn't also affecting the uh, affecting the players. Because if it is, I feel horrible. It is going to be an interesting bit of... Oh, well. There's going to be a lot of damage done. Since Zerg is the best F2A move race in this particular instance, I think... Uh, I don't know. With lag, I feel like uh, Ragnarok has the advantage. He is going to pull across to his side of the map, and he is going to start up more. So he gets up to the, about the, uh, the perfect amount of workers for Zerg to have. It is going to be a um, stasis ward in the wall. I'm going to keep him safe for the time being. Well, it lasts, anyway. But if it does get set off by Hydras... That's going to be really rough. Oh, and he immediately attacks into lurkers. Oh, no. Did Nightmare scout this? No, he did not. He is, and he is going to be completely surprised by this. Two oracles over here, one oracle over here. Going to be able to get a scout off on that. It, there isn't going to be any upgrades on these lurkers, but I don't. I'm not sure how much that will matter, as he gets an instant warning on these lurkers. With that, oh, oh, that's gorgeous. He is going to fight into that, but he isn't going to be able to deal some deal a whole lot of damage. I wonder did he did he finish glaive? He did finish glaives. And with more lurkers coming in, I I'm not sure. These, with these links finishing up, it is going to be another another stasis catching these links. But I feel like Ragnarok has the upper hand in this. 
Oh my gosh. It's so chaotic as these two do it out on uh, Nightmare's third base. 23 workers, 26 workers on it. This battery is going to keep the workers safe for the time being, but these lurchers are going to position forward, going to provide a better position for Ragnarok because he gets more damage done on these wor workers, and that's going to be 15 drones going, or 15 probes going down. Battery's out of energy, so these links are going to have free reign over this, and it looks like he's going to be able to kill Nightmare's third. There's a really, I don't really feel like there's much that uh, Nightmare can do in this particular instance to really stop it from dying terribly hard. Oh my god, that hero probe. That probe dodged seven, I think it was seven or eight uh, lurker spikes. Already set on following that. Do we have a hive yet? We do not. I feel like a hive really doesn't matter when your opponent doesn't uh, when your opponent doesn't really have that much in concerns to uh, uh, doesn't have that much in concerns to air. He needs a uh, carrier. Him being knocked down in two bases, that's going to be rough. If this lurker pushes forward, that's going to be really hard to move out of. As we see, these stalkers are already forced to move out one at a time. And he, he has to snipe these, otherwise he's dead. And it looks like it's going to be game one going to Ragnarok. Hmm. Holy crap. Holy crap. 610 APM. Dave. Oh. All right. I'm hoping no one else had lag there. Hmm. All right. So we go into this game two on Ancient Cistern. Good to be seeing Protoss go up against the Zerg, as the ancient tales foretold. Purity of essence and purity of form. I feel like the purity of form thing was really just a excuse to make alien waifus. Uvu Artanis boy. Can you imagine uh, Artanis with a swimmer's body or something like that? Be kind of funny, no? But enough about that. As we go up here into the top right of Ancient Cistern, it's going to be Nightmare. And in the bottom left, it is Ragnarok. With a cool Nova. Uh, pro, with a cool Nova. Um, whatchamacallit. They call it something. I want to say it's profile picture? I think it's called that. Of course, I might be completely off my rocker here. It is not going to be a, um, a 15 hatch out of Ragnarok. It is going to be a 14. Oh. 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 Okay, we're getting right into it, boys, as we're going to be seeing a proxy hatch in this game number two. Now, this map is particularly good for proxy hatches because of this area right over here. 
and it looks like that Nightmare is going to be really paranoid about it. He's going to drop a uh, second gateway in there, and is he going to is is is, is he is he please? Oh my God, is he is he is he is he? Hey, yeah, yeah, it's going to be proxy hatch, and it's going to be a full wall out of uh out of Nightmare. I feel like he's, I feel like this is going to go really badly for or really badly really quickly for uh Nightmare. We see six lanes already coming across the map. This, uh, oh, this uh, Zelda already putting some damage on this, um, on the Zealot. It is gonna block the Zealot from getting to these lanes, and oh my god, oh my god, I love this. <laughs> oh, and it is gonna be a. It looks like it's gonna be a hold for the time being from Nightmare. Um. But it isn't going to be without damage being done. I wonder if there's enough space. Yep, there's a little, a little bit of space right here for the adept to pop. He's going to jiggle it just a little bit as he gets these zealots out to get more surface area on that. And these lanes are going to come in. They're going to come in. They're going to come in for a surround, but they're going to die because these are with these shield batteries finishing. And then, oh my god, the patchery finishes. Is he going to try to engage with the. I think he's going to try to engage with the. Um, with the broodlings here and if this queen gets out that is going to be absolutely insane more lanes being popped out for by uh, it but in this proxy hatch in this chaotic beginning of the game and another ling starts up and it looks like he is going to try to engage with these broodlings as the damage is being put on onto this and, and that's going to be a lot of damage <laughs> These adepts gonna try to catch, gonna try to catch these zerglings to go back across the map. These two adepts gonna catch one zergling to cut, catch the second one, and it's gonna stabilize. Already a natural being finished up for Ragnarok. Natural halfway done for Nightmare, and the worker count favors Nightmare. So I don't know how well it's gonna work out for. Um, Ooh. Don't know how it's gonna work out for Ragnarok in this game. I feel like it's very much, uh, and uh, I think it's a little bit in favor of Nightmare. And the ar the army, su the army supply. Uh, the army supply is gonna favor. Um, it's gonna favor Ragnarok for the time being. And it looks like it's gonna lay off the aggro for the time being. He's gonna try to recover seven links at the base. Gotta be able to be a sufficient defense. But a Glaive Adept follow up gonna be absolutely devastating. It looks like it's gonna be three gate Glaive for the time being. I think he's gonna start a fourth sometime. He's gonna start a fourth sometime eventually. Uh, start a fourth gateway. And again, I'm not sure. The Zealot gonna be scouting around. Gonna see if there is no third at the triangle. You're gonna try to get a scout on at this fourth thing. You're just gonna see that it is a third coming out of uh, coming out of Ragnarok. And now we see the tickle beam working its magic on this Overlord. Can you see it giggling? Starts a robotic space, so I think we're gonna see a disruptor follow up from this. And that is a rare, uh, that is a, um, these things already gonna catch one of these, gonna catch, try to, gonna try to catch two of them, but I think that was maybe a little, no, never mind. That wasn't too greedy out of uh, Nightmare. Or Ragnarok. As Glaze finishes up, it's going to be a few more death. So, Warp Prism going to warp in three more. I'm going to drag the other two across the rocks. And. Yep. Ro uh, Roach Warden to finish up, but no Roach is being started, interestingly enough. 
it is gonna be a Colossus follow-up. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, does that make sense? Double gate, uh, double gas the natural. Um, lost one of the adepts. I'm just letting st scrambling into position. Some roach is coming out. The Colossus is almost finished. And there's going to be two more gates coming down for Nightmares. He grabs his third. He is going to... I think he's going to be solid for the time being. Uh, I don't... Yep. He's going to cancel over here. He's going to try to get some damage done on the on over here. He's going to catch a few lanes. To, is he going to be able to catch Queen? I don't know. It's going to... I've... Ragnarok is a little bit at a disadvantage over here because he has to commit all of his, he has to commit a lot of army to making sure that these uh, adepts don't slip off somewhere and get some damage done in the mineral line. But he has enough queens to be able to defend at the front if they ever try to encroach there. And it is going to be Oh, that's gonna be rough. The war prism going down with the losses inside it and these things are just gonna get a clean cleanup. And it's going to reset in favor of Ragnarok again, as several sentries are warped in over here. Some uh, Another sentry coming in. What the? Six sentries coming out for Nightmare. And a Disruptor comes out. Some Stalkers also being uh, created. More Langs on the way. Going to be a Spire. And this Phoenix Scouts are fourth coming down. More Langs coming out. As it is, go scout the spire. Nightmare is seeing everything. Another pylon, another battery. More stalkers, more ascent, and uh, six sentries gonna be over here. Terry, open the gate. Thank you, Terry. Uh. Oh. Ooh, that's beautiful. Alright, yeah. Definitely some interesting uh, fights coming out of here from Ragnarok. Gonna be trying to engage into this. It is gonna be a, a, a bat, that super battery from Nightmare. He's gonna be able to hold on to this for the time being. He's gonna ca use a force field. Gonna catch a... Um, Gonna catch a Ravager. Looks like he's gonna try to put some damage on this gateway, but it's gonna pull back for the time being. Few links coming out, and these stalkers gonna catch another Ravager. Things it's gonna be shaved off to scout for a corner fourth. And these Muta's gonna come in. They, uh, I don't know. If this finishes up, I don't know, man. That's a pretty weak cannon. I feel like Nightmare in this position has got to be, got to be feeling a little more defensive as a few Phoenix start up. He he's gonna be looking to deal with these mutas and. With the aid of these stalkers, he is going to push them back. Some nice micro coming out of Nightmare. It is going to be mutilating from. It is going to be a brood war comp from uh, from Ragnarok. Let me just take this out of the holder. It is going to be a what the? Okay, yeah, yeah. It is going to be a brood war comp out of Ragnarok and out of. Uh, out of Nightmare, it is going to be him trading well against Lings with Stalkers. That is a sentence you only hear in a Nightmare, Hero, or uh, Max Pax game. A few other pros as well, but it's going to be Phoenix Charge Lot for Nightmare. Already a Hydroden coming down. 
and a Evo Chamber. More Lings on the way out, some Hydras on the way as well. A one, oh, that is a one-sided trade you do not want to take as Ragnarok. But it looks like these Phoenix are going to be controlled perfectly. It's going to keep. It's going to lose one of them, but it, in return, Ragnarok is going to lose every Mutalisk in the field. Seven Phoenix still standing. Four. Our Protoss player. And Ragnarok is looking mighty uh, mighty exposed here with a lower army supply than, um, than Ragnarok. That may quickly change. I mean, a lot of it is in these Phoenix, which I don't feel like trade well against. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, don't trade well against these. I'm not going to finish that thought because Nightmare takes game number two with Blink Stalkers, Charge Lots, and Phoenix. Holy crap. Just looking at that APM makes me feel slow. Well, I am slow, but you know. It is going to be the final game here of this series. And... The winner of this game goes on to face Dark in the finals. Just waiting on a few more casters to get in, and we are a rolling. Gonna be Royal Blood, the final map. I've seen Rainer. Ver I think I've seen. I think it was Rainer versus Max Pax on this map, and Rainer just really loved that Roach Ravager Ling style on this map. We're gonna see what style Ragnarok prefers against Nightmare in the final game of this best of three. Really cool banners out of both of these players. And down here in the bottom left, it is Ragnarok with the Simulant uh, Drones. And up here in the top right, with the, it looks like the Golden Age uh, probes, it is Nightmare. It is going to be another Eric opening from uh, from Ragnarok. A double extractor trick. And he is going to start another drone with that. Some light harass coming out of Nightmare and it it's going to appear that Nightmare is going to scout this. Up here, the Iron Chef Nightmare. And down here, the inevitable Ragnarok. It's going to be a uh, hatch pool gas opening out of uh, out of Ragnarok. And again, the same opening out of Nightmare. Wait, he takes the gas at the natural? Interesting. Okay. So it is going to be this probe scouting around for a third. And these lings are going to... 
Gonna try to catch it, uh, but they're not probably not gonna be able to deal a whole lot of damage to it. This sling looks like it's gonna be going for a bit of a scouty scout on the other side of the map. It is gonna be a Stargate opener for our Protoss player, who's going adept first. So I'm just going to reconvene, going to gossip a little bit. Ragnarok's, uh, Ragnarok's queen's also going to start a knitting party over here at the front of the natural. And over here on the other side, in all seriousness, it's going to be techie. More legs for... Uh it's going to be a few lings for our Zerg player. And about eight, four queens. Four lings, four queens. So Oracle. Gonna start up a bunch of spores in response to the um, to seeing the oracle coming in here. This looks like these queens are gonna cat try to catch this oracle. This queen coming off creep is gonna be a little slow in catching it. Looks like he's gonna get a full scout. Uh, maybe get a drone or two. Gonna get a third drone, fourth drone. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. Looks like it's gonna be a roach warren out of uh. Out of Ragnarok, and there's these two dive in here. Excellent control out of Nightmare. Looks like he's going to try to keep him alive. I think he's going to be able to keep him alive for the time being. And they dive out of here. I don't know. If Revelation is going to reveal these. These two queen, these two adepts, going to clean up this creep, but the queens are going to push him back for the time being. At home, a third adept is waiting for the rest to get back. Hey guys, I'm lonely here. Holy crap. Okay, boys and girls. We have a crazy game on our hands because this looks like it's going to be a hard... Com no. Oh. If... See an immortal going... We see a sentry coming along. We see a bunch of gates. Oh, it's going to be blank. Uh, well. Can't win all the time. What's your guesses? I was hoping it was going to be a slow lot. I, thought it, I was hoping it was, we are going to see some hassle. So we're going to come back. This, we're just going to focus down this battery. There's some nice force fields going to catch these roaches. Gonna be plus one, uh, gonna be plus one missile coming out of, oh, uh, coming out of, uh, Ragnarok here, and where is that Hydrodent? I see it on the tab. It's gonna be a transition to Hydralisks. I'm curious. Is that Diva? a bit from these guys camera we're gonna see what uh, what they're thinking and it looks like it's gonna be a um, gonna try to divert them over to the other side of the map while he pushes pushes in to cancel this fourth he is gonna see that it is rotating across the map stamina the uh, canceled fourth was that canceled or killed didn't really get a chance to see 
Stalker's gonna poke in a bit, gonna see if it was restarted. Gonna see that it hasn't yet been restarted. So Roaches and Hydra's gonna push them back for the time being. But Nightmare with Parting Micro. It's gonna be God tier in this matchup. It's gonna, it's gonna come in, it's gonna drop another, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna try to drop another changeling? I don't know. I'm gonna see that it is, in fact, full three base saturation. And he's gonna lose one stalker, gonna catch a drone and I'm gonna that drone, a roach. Wow. This might be really bad lag. It's going to be double Robo Colossus? Going to be a couple of Vipers coming out in response from Ragnarok. Hydra Speed almost finished up. It's got the classic Hydra skin. And uh, I think that's a Simulant Roach skin. I feel like the double robo really gives uh, Nightmare more um, more padding between him and lo uh, between losing a Colossus and otherwise. Since these Vipers, where are these Vipers? They're not quite at the front. Really good control out of Nightmare. But these Vipers are going to change. Uh, oh my. Ow. It's 10 range Colossus. Really getting the job done. Honestly, for some reason, watching this really makes me want to watch the Florencio Files. I don't know, maybe it's too intelligent. Or maybe this is too intelligent gameplay for me. <laughs> um, and it looks like this is going to be a really beautiful engage for Nightmare. And he forces... Oh, it's going to be Barkers. Ten more roaches start up. And two of them already finished up. It's going to be a bunch of roaches coming out. But it is going to be Nightmare taking game number two and taking the series. And a very convincing 2-1. to one. I did not realize it was going to end so abruptly. GG will play... Uh, um, don't know exactly how to finish that. Uh, I don't know. But it looks like the lag it really isn't affecting the player. That's a mute button you can actually press. I always felt like the uh, Far Eastern languages are so musical. You, know, you hear the change in their tones, it's pleasant. It's like people, um, it's like water, it's like a creek, a um, bubbling creek. As everyone knows, I am a Nova Simp. But I simp for in control harder. God rest his soul. Looks like Dark is gonna be uh, vetoing Dragon Scales. Waiting to see what Nightmare is. Uh, what Nightmare's veto is gonna be. Now, I haven't really looked up the statistics on. Um, uh, Dark's ZVP, but I feel like it's got to be really strong. And <laughs> honestly, I'm a fan of Dark. 
Dark is absolutely fantastic. Who's we waiting on now? Uh, we're waiting on them to do the, uh... Um... Vetoes, that's what they're called. Alright. Gonna be sliding into these finals. Gonna be a best of five this time, and I'm honestly looking forward to what shakes. Don't know what quite what map nightmare, but if I had to guess, looking at the symbols and my own like familiarity with that, I would say uh, maybe altitude. I don't know. I feel like we're going to be seeing royal blood again, an ancient cistern, maybe. Probably Neo-Humanity for the first time in this entire cast. Per maybe a little bit of Gresvin? I have no idea. Kind of sad that you can only do like seven lines with that. And a little bit of you. Let's be what is the third map? So We're going to see Altitude, guys. I'm so excited. I love Altitude as a map. It's absolutely fantastically done. It's definitely a different color palette from the rest of it. And it's, I feel like there's too many reds in this current map pool. Gresvin being a shade of red. Uh, Babylon being red. New Humanity and Ancient Cistern are green. Guys, we have the Christmas map pool. And it looks like it's going to be a... T oh, oh, oh. It's going to be Zerg versus Protoss on Ancient Cistern. I wonder what shenanigans we're going to see here. Kind of hoping for a uh, proxy hatchery. ZVT is uh, happening. It's going to be a ZVP, and it looks like Nightmare's uh, PBZ is going to be really tested here. Dark being a really strong player. I wonder if Nightmare is getting tired. I mean, he has been really, uh... Dark was able to get a rest before he had to face off against Nightmare. Meanwhile, Nightmare is coming fresh off the heels of a pretty close series against Ragnarok. I feel like, uh... Oh, there we go. I feel like we're going to see some explosive series here today. Now we're on the finals. Man. My internet really traveling light here. 
30 milliseconds to the Korean uh, server. You'd think I got fiber optic internet. Down here in the bottom left of Ancient Cistern, it is going to be dark. Representing Dragon Kaiji Gaming with the net with the classic drones, which is a really cool skin. And up here in the top right, where is going to be nightmare. Write your preference in the comments for the soundtracks. Honestly, I feel like Wings of Liberty definitely has the win on that one. Gonna be dark, going for a standard opener. And when I say standard, uh, oh, gonna be a 16 hatch. Nightmare's not gonna be in time to block it, but he is gonna be in time to, uh, do some mineral line harass. Every little bit counts in these pro games. Mutated Overlord coming across the map. Gonna be seeing a Nightmare wall off. Also going to be seeing Dark taking his natural at a relatively normal time. It's going to be uh, Nexus before Core. Going to be Hatch Gas Pool. wonder what you're going to see here. It's, going to, it's a, definitely a three building wall off here. And it's really tricky because if you try to wall off here, you end up with a really weird fall wall off. Which is awkward if you don't intend to do that. Looks like Nightmare has got this wall off thing down to a science as he does the same wall off he did it against Ragnarok on this map. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a. Uh, Adept starting up. Twilight opener. <gasps> oh! Oh! That's a mind game, folks. I think. Let's go delay warp gate to get his tech a little faster. And dark pulling off gas precisely after he starts uh, link speed. Gonna really be doing him. Uh... What the heck is going on, folks? As we see. Adept into Stalker. It's gonna be double Stalker here for. Or wait. No, that's. You know what? I'm not gonna check the units. So get a feeling I know what's coming. Robo starts up. DT Shrine starts up. Wouldn't be surprised for another gate to be dropped right here and. Another gate started up right here. The Slug is going to be coming across the map to get some scouty scouting done. But they're just going to meet this stalwart adept. Okay. And it's going to be a triple gateway DT drop. A Roach Warren starting out. I think, he, I think Dark's preparing for a... Uh, I think Dark's per guys. I think Dark's preparing for the wrong thing. Looks like it is going to be a oh no, never mind. That idea went right out the window. There's going to be no uh, no layer quite yet, but it is going to be a DT drop. It's going to be a pretty hard commit, and these things are going to come across and be able to cancel that. Yep, that is going to be a cancel. There's a lot of lanes get us around there. It's DT drop. Gonna try to get some damage done. Yep. That's a lot of. That's not a lot of damage. A layer has already started for dark, so he's. 
starting to become a little limited in what's going on here. Oh, this, this war prism getting so... Oh my god, that is one HP. Is it going to be a charge out follow? It is going to be a charge out follow up. Already Ling's darting across the map. I'm going to try to get another cancel. Uh, this is going to be a huge catch. Holy crap. That is a lot of damage. Only a blood smear where those Ling's remained. So it's going to be diving in. Going to try to get another cancel on this fourth, but this Archon is going to be able to hold them off for the time being. Another link goes down. How much damage does this thing do? So link's gonna be rotating over here. Gonna get a real test of the wall. It is gonna be another immortal. It's gonna be some charge. And another and a forge. I thought that was a gateway for a second. So link's gonna catch these. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Gonna be Archon Charge. Oh my god, that is a lot of roaches. See, Roach Speed already uh, starting up. Already mostly done for Dark. And these roaches are gonna try. Gonna be able to get a hold them off for the time being, I think. I feel like this War Prism is really. Uh, Exposed to those queens. I feel like Dark just has this magnet magnetic ability to catch just about anything off. Even if it's off creep, Bro just waves his hand and all of a sudden Goodbye uh, Warp Prism. And he's gonna run into God's early daylight of Roaches. So Roach is already gonna be slipping in here, gonna be trying to Get a nice angle over here. Gonna be able to get a catch a nice concave. This force field is really preventing a full concave over here. These he's gonna start forming up these ravagers to save them. I think this Archon is not going down. It's gonna be some more coming in from behind it. It's gonna be game one going to dark, I think. More charge outs warping in and Yep, yeah, that's gonna be dark taking game number one on Ancient Sister. Nightmare furiously microwing his heart out to try to get this damage done. It's going to be GG called Dark with the game number one win. Beautiful win, honestly. I For a moment, I was worried he didn't really know what was coming, but then he... Um, but then he realized... So we're going to be going to Gresvin next. And after this, it's going to be Altitude. Now, who are we waiting on? Nobody. Gresvin being... My favorite map. <laughs> uh, these uh, the players are just really um, um. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So we get into this game number two. The players are eager to get started on this match. On Gresvin. It is going to be the ESL version, which I feel like they purposely moved the uh, plates a few spaces to the right because of parting pylons. Just one pylon and all of a sudden your hopes and dreams are ruined. Much love, parting. Now all your naturals are belong to me. And down here in the bottom right... Spawning is the blue zerg. It is representing drag, dra Dragon Kaizi Gaming. It is dark. Up here in the top right, it is Nightmare. Gonna be another large map. Hmm.
probably going to be in time to catch the natural. Dark looking like he's going to take his third. That is not a third. That is a proxy hatchery. And for the second time this game, we're going to see Dark... We're going to see Nightmare get proxy hatched, but he may not be expecting it this time. Oh no. Did Nightmare see it? <laughs> it's not every day you wake up and see a hatchery in your wall off. Going to be trying to wall off around it. That pylon's awfully exposed. Gonna be trying to catch- oh my. Brave little Probius. Oh, well. There we go. Dark's impeccable control on these Zerglings really are making it hard for Nightmare to defend this ably. The surround gonna make it so the Lings can't- uh, so the Zer Zelts can't win. And Adept is going to be popping out here pretty shortly, but uh, with Adept almost finishing up, I think this is... Oh, no. This does not look good for a Nightmare. You know, how Dark is really executing this really shows the element of surprise that goes into Proxy Hatcheries. It's going to get a kill... Uh, it's going to get a cancel on this battery. And he's gonna... That's a spine crawler. Oh my god. Okay. He's gonna start a... He's gonna start a pylon on the high ground. Queen finishes up. Queen's gonna be able to put some damage on these adepts. Now, I wonder if you start tech here, or if you start more gateways. And he loses it last second. Yeah. I feel like, uh, I, I think Dark wins this. Yeah. I think this is Dark's game. You know, there's... Proxy hatches, and then there's dark proxy hatches. Dark just... His proxy hatches just deal so much more damage than your average proxy hatch. I'm not your average proxy hatch. <laughs> I'm worse. I feel like that could be on a t-shirt for dark. I'm not your average proxy hatch. I'm nine times worse. And it's gonna be Nightmare... Wow. That was 4 minutes and 26 seconds of Proxy Hatch. Dark really looking to, uh... Make it... Make it quick as game number 2 passes so swiftly that it's... Absolutely astonishing. So we go on to Altitude. It is game point for Dark. And Nightmare... Has to put on, a. Nightmares has to really pull off a reverse sweep. As it stands though, I feel like it isn't really looking good for Nightmare. Already two games down against Dark and it is a best of five, so he does have a chance. So he is not lost yet. But he's really close, and he has to pull off against the final boss himself. A reverse sweep. The Iron Chef versus the final boss. Uh, I mean... It's like encountering a dire boar in the butcher's shop. 
you're pretty sure that thing's gonna have what's or gonna have an easier time of you than you are of it. Speaking of final bosses, it is up here in the top right hand of altitude. It is Dragon Kaiji Gaming's Dark. Fanfare, yay. And down here in the that mineral line for a moment looked really empty. But it is nightmare in the bottom left. This probe gonna be coming up here. Gonna get a uh is he? There's Zerg players and then there's Dark. Oh my god. Bro figures, yeah, I got bro accurate enough time. I just gotta place it right. And with literally milliseconds to spare, place it down that hatchery on location. Or place down that hatchery at precisely the right point. Uh, it is going to be hatch pool. I must have kind of seen this. Yeah, he sees it. Um. <laughs> uh, it's going to be cat and mouse between the drone and probe. I feel like this should be a new uh, game. Drone and probe. I found it kind of funny that if you catch the probe while it's right here, with the pool right there, and Cyril did that to somebody. I forget who he did it to. But he trapped the probe right in there and was able to pick it off with the queen. You know, there's... I mean... There's a reason these guys are the greatest of all time. And it is because of those sick, the sick stunts that they're able to pull off. This probe is going to go down, and this adept is going to shade across the map. Uh, the unbuildable brick is going to be uh, going to be causing uh, going to be caused some damage. Probably going to be destroyed. Oh, it's a bit of that car bot where the uh, cells were all stomping on. It, it was just a. Uh, I think that's a very, uh, I just definitely seen some things. It's, uh, it's had more needles thrown at it than, uh, than that, uh, what's had needles thrown at it? I feel like there was, uh, yeah, 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 the, uh, Marine in that, uh, in the post Belly of the Beast Shadow of the Sky decision. As we had more needles in... Oh no, it wasn't that. It was uh, the rescue of Warfield on Char. It's had more needles in it than that uh, Marine on Char. And it has more claw marks than... I don't know. Someone who just ran into a rabid wolf den? I don't know. The Zergling gonna see these two adepts gonna be taking this tower. Hey, hey, look at me. It's my tower now. Steps gonna be moving forward. And that's gonna be a very dead drone. That's gonna be the only drone that Dark loses this game. It looks like it's gonna be, uh. Glaives. Uh, I feel like Dark has some time to react. He just has to... Oh, no. That pretty much solidifies what he's going for, but I feel like Dark's the only guy who can really pull out the link defense against Glaive Adepts. 
This Phoenix is going to be putting on some damage on this Overlord. Queens are probably going to be coming out here to try to defend it. Maybe even transfuse it. Because going to keep it alive. It's going to change damage. Apparently Nightmare, a big fan of... Uh... Oh no. It, no, I just collected and it kind of caused some chaos. Alright, 537 there is... 11 adepts that are going to try to talk to uh, going to try to talk to Dark about their god, but we're going to see how Dark responds. And normally I don't think uh, Dark has a really high opinion of people who try to talk to him about their gods, and he prefers to make his own gods of proxy hatches and queens. Channing Totem. Really be- Uh... I'm not sure who's winning here. Okay, it looks like Dark is winning here. A few drones going down over here. Must have missed some adepts and these little ling wraparounds are... Just absolutely insane. Gonna catch all four of these adepts before they can really shade out. It's going to be Blink Stalkers out of counterattack. Note this. Remember, remember. Ragnarok fell prey to these. But, uh, I don't know if Dark's going to fall, really fall prey to them himself. I feel like he isn't. Dark is definitely the type of guy to make, it your pro make that Stasis Ward your problem. Another round of drones coming out. Baneling Nest being started up. Pretty interesting. There'll be plus one attack. Another Stargate for... A carrier? Uh, I guess that'll get the job done. No Hydrodin out. No Spire out for Dark. Looks like it's going to be a Hive. A Hive? This game got nine times as weird as I thought it was going to be. So things look like they're going to reposition over to this. They're going to defend the Stalkers as they reposition over here. This, oh, is they're going to confirm that they're, in fact, right over here. But, little does... Uh, the Stalker going to secure this. So I feel like this is just in range of... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just in range And it is going to get et by a bunch of Zerglings. How dare you, Nightmare, kill Lenny the Zergling. It's going to be a bunch of charge lots, or a bunch of zealots right now, but it's going to be charge lots in about a minute or so. Carriers already in production. They're going to be concealed up here in the main base. Got to try to get out as many as possible before the uh, before they get scouted. I think he's going to get about three or four before Dark really starts catching on to what's going on. So this thing's going to come in, going to meet Cannon Battery, there's going to be Roach Ling. And the carriers are going to show their faces. Or not, because... Yeah, I'm sticking with my prediction, never mind. It is going to be three. See how fast that uh, spire gets thrown down. There we go. Oh my gosh. I think this is going to pretty rapidly become a uh, nightmare's problem if he doesn't act uh, actively deal with these. Oh, if he gets. Oh no, oh, and he gets the force field up in time. Going to be banging that uh, Nightmare's door for the time being. Meanwhile over here, the fight's not going too well for Dark. It's 
spire's halfway finished, but... Oh, these things are gonna get in. They're gonna get some... I don't know how much damage they're gonna be able to get done. They're gonna catch a stalk. That is a 1 HP stalker. That is the luckiest stalker alive. We're gonna keep an eye on him. And we're not, because he's dead. Rip in peace, Jeremy, the, uh, the blink stalker. Is he going plus three melee against this? Oh my god. He's getting four corruptors already. Let's see. Let's check it out. No corruptors on the field yet, but it's going to be four corruptors. I feel like uh, that's going to be really rough on him. Oof. Some whole damage being taken by these biles on, uh, on these carriers. Man. Stasis Ward's really putting in the work, and these Ling's coming in. Gonna catch one Stargate. That is huge, and gonna catch this Forge, and that's... Oh my god. Did this game just turn in favor of Dark? Three Archons being started up. These Ling's gotta try to get some damage done, and these Ling's coming in gotta be... Like I said, Dark is the kind of guy to make it your problem that you Stasis Warded a bunch of his Ling's. Uh, all of a sudden, I really don't like this position for Nightmare. We're gonna be able to catch two probes just chilling out there at the front. Ling's shifting around, some Banelings being formed. Uh, and it's gonna be dark taking this fight to the maximum. Nightmare trying to micro pass this, but losing all these carriers is going to be rough. And he's probably after those carriers fall, it's the it's that war prism's turn, and it is going to be dark. Oh my god, dark just three would nightmare. Oh my god, holy crap. Holy crap. GG, well played. Holy crap. That was... Oh, <laughs> that was amazing! <laughs> that final fight went so well for Dark that it was just... Oh my god. Oh my god. That is insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck on that. That was pretty brutal. Anyway, guys, if you if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Please do leave a comment. Please do leave a like, and I hope you all enjoyed this. And I hope you all have a wonderful night. And I'll see you next month for a stream.